as we come up to the 170 here we as he works his way along chp is starting to catch up as he works uh, on that right shoulder uh coming around but uh, as he makes the transition out to the stilton north five right here at the at the uh 170. all right he's underneath the uh, overpass there coming back through now he's on hard on the uh, brakes again back to the far right lane Oh, I got him here. Looks like uh, he's continuing on. So I'm kind of watching out the window. Watching out the window here as we zip along here. There's no units behind it, so it's real difficult for us to see him uh, out the window to figure out what, exactly which one it is. And the unit area has turned the night sun off, so it's hard for me to see which one it is. So we're going to continue on here. Now, okay, coming up to uh, Osborne at 90 miles an hour. Over into the carpool lane. I got him. Hey, TV7 or somebody going to take up the flight for us on this. be a lot easier. As we continue now uh, north here on the 5 freeway coming up to Telfair. Uh, like I said, this is a burglary suspect out of Burbank PD. Burbank PD units were uh, following it. I believe they were undercover units. Uh, air unit got overhead and watched as the subject uh, continued south on the 5 freeway. Got off at the Hyperion made the turn but at the time started throwing objects out of the car so right now uh, and those the ob objects uh, were recovered they were cash and jewelry from the uh, burglary so these burglary suspects don't know how many people are in the car uh, but he is really flying along here still at uh, just about 90 miles an hour and coming up to the 118 holding the right lane Bye, as we work our way northbound here, coming up to the 118, he's going to hold the northbound five. And CHP is uh, trying to catch up here as we go underneath the 118. And then uh, still holding that number one lane, IHOV lane. And what are we clocking at now? 80, 105 is the speed we're clocking on uh, our map down to the uh, number two lane continuing on just zipping through traffic or slower traffic ahead a little bit heavier as he goes around and there's heavy traffic up ahead of paxton so we're gonna see uh what happens when he gets there but it's uh, uh he's really cooking along here but he's gonna come up with some real heavy traffic here in about another mile mile and a half now on the brakes hard here and we're hearing reported four suspects inside this car. So four burglary suspects wanted by Burbank PD. And we're at uh, at least 90 miles an hour here over to the number four lane. Uh, CHP uh, looking for the units down below. I don't see any units below. And uh, so they're still trying to catch up as we continue it on here uh, over to that. And uh, holding up here in the number one lane. It's coming up on slower traffic. Right around the uh, right around the uh, slower cars, they're using all lanes. Now coming up on the uh, could the uh, where the 405 meets the 5 freeway up here at Silmar. This is where that traffic is going to start slowing down on him. And then uh, over to the number four lane, using pretty much every lane he can to get around the slower traffic. But uh, this has uh, been a real high speed pursuit at times. Once again, if you're just joining us here on KTLA.com, it's a burglary suspect out of Burbank. Burbank PD got on him really quick. Uh, and as they went southbound 5 Freeway, they got off at the Hyperion down there in Atwater Village. As he did there, they threw out uh, uh, property out of the car, which turned out to be uh, jewelry and money from the burglary. And now uh, they've been tracked here. Now they have we have... Uh, Burbank PD overhead, we got LAPD overhead, we have CHP now trying to get into uh, uh, position here to pick up. I see a, a marked unit just came on the freeway at Paxton, so he's going to be coming up behind him as we continue on here. Uh, northbound 5 freeway coming up to the 210 interchange. Oh, almost got that car right there. And, and then over to the number 4, whipping around traffic as we work through here. And you can see that traffic is getting a little bit heavier. And he's going to be coming up to a CHP unit here any second. Be passing him on the right. And he's on the brakes now. 
And over here now, it's a residential burglary uh, out of Burbank, uh, coming up northbound 5 freeway to the 210. Four suspects uh, on board here, and uh, CHP is trying to get in position to take over this pursuit. So as we continue on northbound here on the 5 freeway, uh, coming up to the uh, 210, holding that far right lane, we're through the 210, and the next uh, freeway up here is the 14. As we continue on, here you can see back again using uh, all the lanes. As we committed on northbound five. Yeah, five is up at 3,000. And uh, as we would continue on here, Got to make the bend here. Let's we'll see if he stays on the coming to New Hall Pass. See if he continues northbound five here. But uh, air units are right below. You're going to see the air unit going right through our shot here. If we widen out just a little bit, you'll see that air unit from Burbank PD coming into our shot. It's not going to get him now. Uh, so as we he goes underneath the 14 flyover. Heading uh, committed to the northbound five. Uh, Calgrove would be the next uh, off ramp that we could get to. But it uh, looks like we're northbound and down. And uh, once again here as we continue north on the five. Anyways, we work our way along here. It's uh, uh, pretty wide open now as we come around. But as we get past Calgrove, it starts backing up just a little bit. So there's going to be uh, traffic ahead. But uh, CHP should be getting in position. I saw the one unit there that was behind, or it was off to the side of the road. Unfortunately, the unit or air unit doesn't have his light on it, so that's kind of tough for that uh, K9 or the unit on the ground to figure out which car it is, uh, because he's already passed that unit that was uh, coming on there at Paxton. And now we're uh, well up into the New Hall Pass, working our way down here, uh, passing traffic. Oh, God, please. Anyways, we continue on here. Uh, northbound 5 freeway approaching Calgrove. Still uh, holding that number 4 lane. Come on. As we come around through the uh, pass here, it's a very uh, dark area up here for us, but we'll continue on down and get into the Santa Clarita Valley. Not really pretty place for him to get off right now. The next off ramp for him is Calgrove. Uh, he's riding that number 4 lane. And right now, no ground units over him. He has a Burbank helicopter overhead, uh, keeping uh, CHP updated on where they're at. Right now, I understand they switched over to CHP uh, frequencies, trying to del uh, direct those units in. Uh, coming up to Calgrove, you see him right there on the uh, right shoulder. Hard on the brakes again. Now, the one thing about all his braking is he starts heating those brakes up. Uh, might have an issue if he gets off the freeway because uh, they'll start hitting the brakes pretty hard. They're already hot, and you'll get what's called brake fade, where the brake pads get uh, glazed and they don't operate like you expect, and people end up just driving right through things. Five's on the west side as well at 33. Okay, around these uh, big rigs here as he continues north. Anyways, we continue down here uh, coming towards Calgrove. Uh, coming up on the off ramp here in about another mile. See if he dives off the freeway. He's over to right hand lane, so he's got plenty of chances. Use the right shoulder, actually. Uh, he's, he's outside the fog line. You see that white line, then it cuts off. That's the. Uh, uh, right shoulder here as he's passing everybody on the right, coming up the real slow traffic, whipping around that, coming up to the Calgary of off ramp. And it looks like he's past the call, right past the door point, continuing north on the five freeway here, past Calgary. And let's see what kind of speed we're at right now. 96 miles an hour that I'm seeing uh, on the gauge, and back on the brakes because you know 96 miles an hour, everybody else is doing 85. It's going to be. Uh, a little tough for him to get through some of these, but the traffic is pretty uh, open uh, going north here on the 5 freeway as we uh, 
approach. Uh, I believe the next 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 one here, I believe, is going to be. McBean Parkway is the next over off ramp we have. Coming up on McBean. And as we continue now, what's going to happen here uh, going north? There's not really too many more places you can go. If he stays on the freeway, it'll take him up, up in the grapevine using that right shoulder to get around that uh, big rig there. Very dangerous because you never know what's going to be on that right shoulder. to be a stalled car there as he came around that uh, big rig, a blind turn there as now as we're approaching uh, Magic Mountain here. And, and, and coming up on Valencia will be the next off. Look at McBean. Coming up to McBean here. Let's see what he does. Got his wig. Passing uh, Valencia now. Anyway, just a lot of chatter on the uh, aircraft radio. Anyways, we continue on here, coming up to Magic Park, Magic Mountain Parkway. And as I was going to say, as we continue north on the uh, 5 freeway, uh, we get up here past 126 and start climbing that grapevine. Uh, if we start climbing that hill up into the uh, grapevine, uh, we're not going to be able to pass the uh, uh, Lake Hughes Road area because it just gets too dark up there for us to fly. And, uh, so right now it's uh, a matter of, oh, looks like it took a gore point here. Off at Magic Mountain. Off at Magic Mountain, it looks like. Uh, uh, through the intersection, almost crashed right there. It, making the turn underneath the five freeway. Five's coming around. And he's back around the corner here, uh, making his turn up Magic Mountain Parkway. And this is uh, gonna p picking up the old road here. And here he goes, he's gonna go underneath us. And so as we continue here northbound on the old road up. And so here we come around here, I'm gonna like fly by us here. And I'm going to come around northbound Old Road. And as he goes still northbound Old Road here as we work our way around. And so as we uh, make the turn here to turn back to the north, coming back north 7. And he, Rye Canyon is where he's at now, making that turn. And so going under Rye Canyon. Continuing now eastbound Rye Canyon. And there he goes, continuing through, pushing through traffic as we work our way now eastbound Rye. Makes the right-hand turn, or left-hand turn. Avenue Stanford now. Avenue Stanford he's on now. You see now a unit of right behind him, so that'll help out quite a bit. 80 miles now here on uh, coming up to uh, this industrial traffic. As he works his way northbound, this is paralleling the 5 freeway to the north. Yeah. I can't get these guys to shut up long enough to give out positions. Anyways, we continue on now uh, here northbound on standard. Coming up to uh, the 126. Seven and right by behind you. All right, okay, making that bend. Got to come up to the 126 here, or I believe this is what. Yeah, yeah, and they make the oh through the intersection here on a red, and blowing through traffic and now that cross traffic there now on the 126 westbound. 126 westbound. Let's see what he does here down to Gore Point. This might uh, put him on. This is going to take him on the northbound five again. So down the uh, ramp he goes. And 
Uh, back on the northbound five. So this will take us up into the Castaic area. And uh, like I said, any further north of Lake Hughes Road is going to be a real problem for uh, us. But luckily, uh, Sheriff's Air 29 showed up uh, to help out with the Burbank Air Unit. Now, Sheriff's 29 is uh, capable of flying uh, capable of flying uh, what they call NVGs. And then uh, he's uh, he'll be able to... Uh, and uh, so as he continues northbound on the 5 freeway, they'll be able to fly the NVGs uh, up into the hills here above uh, Castaic as he continues north here on the 5 freeway. And he's way up the hill here as we continue on. <laughs> yeah, and so I'm trying to catch up with him as we made the turn there as we work our way Northbound 5 Freeway approaching uh, Hasley Canyon up here. And it'll be Lake Hughes Road uh, pretty soon here. So, As we continue northbound 5 freeway here, coming up on Castaic. And we'll see what he does here, because once he gets past the lights here, we're going to have to come uh, to a stop, and we'll just watch him fly off into the uh, end of the darkness. Five's on the west, 27. Okay, good broadcast on CHP. Again, one coming up. Fives at 32, climbing and coming to a stop. Seven, coming to a stop. And we're going to have to stop right here, uh, here at Lake Hughes Road. Like I said, there's no way I can go up into the uh, mountains here and chase this guy. Uh, so, residential 459. Uh, as we continue on here, uh, Northbound 5 freeway is, uh, okay, I'm stopping right here. All right. I said, Maury. And we're stopped here watching him head up the road, and he'll get to the CHP uh, crossover up there, CHP Road. And uh, CHP is on him now with four units. And there you go, as uh, now the LA County helicopter is on him right now. And they have their night vision goggles on, so they're able to fly up in the mountains at night. And unfortunately, we can't. And so we're going to hold back here over Lake Hughes Road and the five and watch them as they continue north on the 5 freeway. Once again, burglary suspects out of Burbank. Uh, they were throwing property out of the car. They recovered that. It was uh, jewelry and money. Four people in that car wanted for residential burglary. Where'd he go? Oh, I'm sorry. Let me move back over here. Five's going to slide over to the east side. I got all you guys. Got two of you. And so pretty much he's going to be uh, out of sight, out of mind here in a minute as he continues north on the five. So thank you for watching here on KTLA.com. Uh, pursuit of uh, burglary suspects out of Burbank. We'll have more tonight on this. 
on the KTLA News at 10. All right, there you are. I got you. 